Hello and welcome to this bonus math tutorial video where we're just going to very quickly prove uh, using a calculator that we've got all of these answers right uh, to make sure that uh, we've not slipped up anywhere. So if we want to start putting this in we've got uh, my trusty uh, Casio FX85 GT Plus a uh, truly beautiful bit of uh, calculator so uh, let's have a look at putting these in. So first of all we've got 4 to the power of so 4 to the power of minus one. Let's see what that comes out with. It comes out with a quarter and of course if you push the SD button there you can see it'll change it from a fraction to a decimal. Okay so next we've got 4 to the power of negative 2. 4 to the power of negative 2 should give us a sixteenth and indeed it does and again if you wanted to write that out as a decimal you could but you can see at this point the number's starting to get a little bit unwieldy so there's no problem just leaving that as a fraction for further calculations. Uh, next we've got 81 to the power of a half, so we've got 81 to the power of, now here we could put 1 divided by 2 and we'll get to the answer uh, which is 9, so there we go we've proved that that is the square root, uh, this is the same as saying the square root of 81 is equal to 9 uh, and let's just do this slightly differently, 81 to the power of, and if we push that button there that will turn this into a fraction, so that gives us 1 over 2, so 81 uh, to the power of a half, and let's see if we come out with the same answer, equals 9, so we've got that one right. Uh, so now we'll say what is 1 uh, sixth, so we've got 1 sixth to the power of one sixth to the power of zero, one sixth to the power of zero, and we get one. One sixth to the power of zero is equal to one, which is what we were trying to prove over here. Then we've got 27 to the power of a third, 27 to the power of one divided by three gives us three. 27 to the third is the cube root of 27, which is three. 27 I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's make life a little bit easier. Let's change this now from a 1 to a 2. 27 to the power of 2 uh, divided by 3, or 2 thirds. And we get 9. Let's see if that's what we were looking for. Indeed it was. Uh, now we'll do this one. 9 to the power of 3 over 2. 9 to the power of 3 over 2 equals 27. And then we've got 36 uh, to the power of 3 divided by 2. 36 to the power of 3 over 2, 216. Which again, we're just showing here, this is quite nice that we're getting all of these answers right. We've done all of this correctly. Uh, and we've not gone wrong anywhere. 64 to the power of 2 over 6, which gives us 4. So 64 to the 2 over 6 gives us 4. And then we've got 64 to the power of 1 divided by 3. So this is the simplified form of that. And we should get 4 again. And we did. So 64 to the power of 2 sixths is the same as 64 to the power of a third. So that's great. Next, let's have a look at this. Uh, 256 to the power of minus 1 quarter. So 256 to the power of minus a quarter, we should get a quarter, and indeed we do. 32 to the power of 3 over 5, we should get 8. There it is. And finally, 32 to the power of negative 3 over 5, we should get 1 over 8. There it is, an eighth. So just a quick check there to prove that all of our calculations are correct and a nice little demonstration uh, of how to input these numbers into your calculator in a couple of different ways. Uh, so obviously uh, I always recommend the Casio F uh, FX85 GT Plus uh, to my students, one of my favourite calculators, uh, and this will be used in a lot more future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.